quickly go through your work and just some other little things. So as you know, this is your classroom page. Just a reminder that if you click on your classwork tab and go down to your assessments, um, the digital portfolio work, this digital portfolio work is due next Thursday. So that has to be completed, handed in, all tasks handed in on next Thursday, the 14th. And I also expect that you go in and you can see some people have already done it. You go in and you hand in your individual tasks here. Now I ask that these individual tasks were also placed in that digital portfolio to keep a nice concise document of your work. Now for today's lesson, or just before I start today's lesson, thanks again, the photo challenges you can see yesterday's was released on Monday, sorry, four have handed in. You need to get that done by the end of the week. And if you go in this time, I've said it a little bit differently. I've given you an image. This is from a book, which is all about photo challenges. Today's or this week's one was pretend you're a dog. So either get down low or look at what a dog would look at, um, look at, look at a viewpoint, or maybe it's an object or subject, something creative that will make me kind of laugh, I suppose. Upload those and I will mark them. So for today, we're moving into our next bit, which is appropriation. And there's some really fun tasks. So this one for today is in, it's not released now, but it will be when you start this lesson. First of all is a quiz. Um, this is just to go back on some of those compositional techniques. So here's the link. If you click on that link, you will come to this. If you enter in that code, here's the code here, just cut and paste that. You will then get into a quiz about compositional techniques. If you have any problems, let me know, but you should be able to go in, do the quiz, and I get the results at the end. Uh, you may have to sign in, sign in by your Google account. That way um, you can quickly get into that um, program, that quiz it uh, quite easily because I'll use that in the future. So for today's lesson, you're opening up this document, Getting Museum Challenge, and when you open it, you will come to this. You have six questions. Now it says appropriation, we haven't done this before, but if you appropriate something, you're basically taking a work and you're changing it a little bit to make a new idea. So like when the Mona Lisa, um, Michel Duchamp put a moustache, he appropriated the Mona Lisa and put a moustache on it. And lots of artists have done this. So this is something that's been happening while we've been in isolation and it's called the Getting Museum Challenge. Now, as you can see, you're reading the article on page three. So you have to scroll down to page three and you're reading this little article. It's only a page long, not very long. After reading that article, you're gonna answer these questions. So explain what it is, it's very simple. People are just taking works, um, famous works and recreating them using what they have at home while they're in isolation. Um, it just asks you what this widely popular Russian um, Facebook group is known for and that's in the information. Describe um, what people are using to complete so some of the elements and you might need to look at page six of this sheet because there's examples. Here's another one um, that blue describe how Henry Matisse work in code of blue nude. That's this work if you scroll all the way down that's they're talking about here. So you need to read this article before answering the questions. Um, that way it will help you with your answer. Now there's an above artwork and you're trying to see, here's the original, how has this artist at home in isolation recreated or appropriated this work? So they've kept the similar composition, a hand holding a shiny reflective ball, and but they've changed it. Here we've got, you know, more um, contemporary, the use of a Christmas bulb. And you can see the reflection, the fact that she's using a mobile phone. This was um, Escher's work. It was a very high, highly detailed perspective drawing. And although you might say, but this is art miss, but we're capturing them through the means of a photograph, which was what photography is, um, capturing, you know, the, the frozen moment. So you're going to look at these two artworks and you're going to answer these questions. Then the last bit here, this is the last for the theory work today, is to scroll down to page six and you're going to choose one that you like and you answer these three questions based on that one that you like. So let's scroll down. I'm not reading the information, you can do that, but that's what the challenge is about. And if you scroll all the way down, I'll get to that bit. These are the examples of the challenge, okay? So you can see here, here's the original artwork, here's how someone has recreated it at home. Here's the original artwork, girl with the pearl earring, here's someone recreating it. So you can use your family members. If you haven't got family members for this, when we eventually do our prac, you can just use objects to recreate it. Here's someone who's got the original artwork, which is a pipe. 
and he's made himself into a pipe. So have a look, pick one of those to answer that last question. Now the last part of today's lesson, the six questions shouldn't take you very long, maybe 15, 20 minutes tops. You're then going to choose and do your own work. So you're choosing to recreate one of these yourself. I really want you to be creative. Okay, you can use anything, cardboard cutouts, shapes, objects, toys, items of clothing, books. You can get someone to dress up themselves. But remember, you're trying to mimic. So when I look at your work, when you photograph or try to appropriate one of these two, it should look similar. I should be able to recognize. So hint, try to set up the same composition, okay? Compositions are how the image is arranged. So if you look at these, you're choosing one of these today, and this is the last bit of the lesson, one of these, and you're going to recreate it with whatever you want at home, and then you're going to take a photograph of that and upload it. How might I do that? Well, here's an example of some of how other people have done it. Maybe Lego blocks. Here's some tissue paper. You could use maybe some clothing. You could use bits of paper. You could use toys. Whatever you like. It doesn't worry me. Here's a computer-generated version of it, and here's one where someone's actually dressed up. So you be creative, but by the end of this lesson, I expect you have done this artwork, uploaded it, and these six questions. That's all for today, guys. Have fun. See you next time.